K8200 extruder. So this is the 1.75 conversion modification. So ignore that little hole there. That was a, uh, a test that didn't quite work. Loosen the spring off. So as you can probably tell if you have one of these you'll know how much plastic there is in there. Uh, I've had to grind away a bunch of it. And I've also ground away a bunch of plastic on the uh, the tensioner arm as well. In fact I've ground away most of it. You can see the bolt going through there. And <coughs> while you're at it, I don't know what the new kits are like, but the old kit came with just open bearings with no shielding. They're crap. Throw them away. They belong in the bin or in the recycle bin. Mine seized after about a month and started to chew out this housing here. I've had to wrap mine in some heat shrink in order to get it to uh, give it some more stability. So as soon as possible switch to shielded bearings. But back to the mod. Um, <clears throat> grind away a bunch of plastic. I've ground it away to probably just a little bit there's probably a little bit over half of that hole left. I haven't ground it down quite to the halfway mark. That hole is a test. I'd spun this around. I was just trying to... It didn't work. Don't do that. Pretend that's not there. And grind that. You'll have to take the whole thing to bits to, uh, to do that. So that there you would want to cut off. So you need about that much, that little clip, I would put that in, even with a direct drive, I'd stick it in there uh, with with this K8200 mod, I'd stick that clip in, chop that off so it's about an inch, whatever, so drill out this hole to the size of the guide tube, PTFE, and then drill a slightly bigger hole down, not all the way through, just far enough for the little clip to be able to float around in there. Remember you don't want to push that clip down because pushing it down will allow the tube to come out. So you're doing a filament change which will it'll uh, retract, it'll suck the filament out I guess a predefined amount. I think mine did about a hundred millimeters or something in there. If it gets stuck to that tubing and rips it up in there then that guide tube is probably going to get munched by the drive wheel. So yeah, I, I definitely leave that little clip in. Now for the fun part. Will the camera see down the hole? There, moving about, is the PTFE tube way down in there. And that then acts as your filament guide for the 1.75. The only downside with this way, this little tube, when it comes, it comes in a roll. And the camera probably won't pick it up, but it's kind of bent. And it can make reloading the filament a little bit difficult. But I found this thing a pain in the neck with 3mm filament let alone 1.75. Have fun with that.